I have never been so fundamentally frustrated and disappointed by a game before. Minus 10 oh, out of 10. That's worse than 0 out of 10. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, gosh. We are Slug Disco, a small indie studio that appeared a few years ago and are currently working on our first title, Empires of the Undergrowth, which is a real-time strategy game based in the world of ants, available now on Steam, Epic, GOG and Itch in early access. While we've had plenty of support for our game, and it's fair to say that we're doing alright, not everything has been positive. So, I thought it was about time for a reality check for our three developers, John, Liam and Matt. Let's get talking to them. Uh, I think the way we're going to do this is just so it's not too much all in one go. We're going to do what's uh, what's called in the in the business a compliment sandwich. If you've ever heard the term. So we start off with something nice, something positive, a positive comment. Then we put the not so positive stuff in the middle, and we'll we end with a positive comment as well. So let's just see. Um, do we do it as a series of sandwiches? It's just going to be one very bad sandwich. Right. <laughs> so that's your that, that's your positive one. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice positive review. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> that. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's to the point. Yes. You, you can't. You can't. Yes. I didn't even realise I'd made the pun then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go down to our filling. It probably doesn't surprise you that a fair few of the mean comments uh, are to do with how long it takes us to do things, because let's be honest, it does. My grandchildren will enjoy the free play update, <laughs> maybe. maybe. They, 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 might, they might already have grandchildren, and they might already be playing Empires of the Undergrowth. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the attitude. <laughs> this was from this year's uh, reappearance of the Christmas level. Move along, no update here, they've put a Santa hat on an asset. Exactly the same rubbish gameplay this mode as they do every year without any updates. Do I need to update the Christmas mode every year? <laughs> well, it's you're responsible for it, yes. You'll be familiar with this one from your report cards at school. I've been saying this for a while, and, <laughs> and John and Matt don't seem to listen. This is what I say every morning when I wake up. So important it was said twice. T to be fair, it's a good way of getting the point across, just repeating it. Just like the content you've been creating. <laughs> Just bought it at full price last week, and now you're backstabbing me with a discount. <laughs> Not recommended. I knew someone was going to get backstabbed. This one um, gave me an existential crisis, so see what you think about this. For anyone put off by this developer named Mike, not likely. <laughs> You are not alone. I encourage you to not be misled by grifters and snake oil salesmen. Not just in the interwebs, but in the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming this person thinks that all kind of um, community interaction is done by an AI these days? Not likely. I'm... <laughs> as far as I'm aware, I'm still real. Have you been selling oil? Are you familiar with the term snake oil yes, salesman? Yeah. Yes, yes, I am. I just had to check. <laughs> were you genuinely confused then that, that someone thought we were selling snake oil? No. I'll be honest, the old Empires of the Undergrowth looks more interesting than the new version. Oh, keep it's a it. testament it's to fault. Matt's engine over Unreal. We shouldn't have put the old footage up. We've got the really old versions of the game. This is probably the most cutting one. Okay. Bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt that. <laughs> yeah. 12 hours worth of bad. Consumers are getting really tired and fed up with this early access BS. Your patience is a must, as I hold off on purchase until I hear <laughs> or see that this isn't another early access vaporware scam. A vaporware scam. Oh, there's, there's a bit of, I've, I've read comments before that think it, the games are going to disappear. It's not off our fault you have a small team and did <laughs> F all. No one cares that this is your livelihood. <laughs> At this point, it doesn't matter if you really have version 1.0 coming. You've dragged people on for too long. Thank you for justifying my decision to not buy this in early access. I look forward to never playing this game. Wow. So that's that's not a review. That's someone that's not bought it. No, that, I believe, was a comment on uh, Steam. To be fair, to be fair, it's not their fault we have a, a small team. I do always encourage people who are on the fence about early access to jump onto the wait and see side of it. I particularly like the fact that this game has no in-level saving. The only thing that could make this better is after an hour and a half, you looked a save option and it said, LOL, save scum denied. 
<laughs> we should add that. That's nice. <laughs> nice idea. Make it optional in the, yeah. the options menu. Yeah, yeah. But on by default. I'm not convinced this person actually dislikes the fact that you can't save in the middle of a level. I've got a confession to make. What? This is my comment. Yeah, I thought it might be, you know. Broken, yeah, a, a, a refunded review. Broken, boring, raw, and saggy. Saggy. Piece of garbage. Hey. Cool concept, poor execution. Mm. Even StarCraft arcade version was better. I do like the descriptive word saggy, though. I've never heard that yeah. used to describe yeah, a game. Nice. So that's, that's, I think, unique to us. We've got raw, that. Raw and saggy. That's quite, yeah, quite an image. Might or might not be a fair negative review, I don't know. I hate spiders. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It's completely fair. Now, a little cultural sensitivity one here. Um, Non-Asian non ants celebrating the Chinese New Year is so bizarre. <laughs> so much more bizarre than Chinese ants celebrating the Chinese New Year, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> As we know, only Chinese ants can make that hot pot properly. <laughs> no. For those unfamiliar with the game, we recently released a, a special Chinese New Year's level. We haven't, we haven't been to... Um, Asia in the game yet, so we haven't. Uh, we couldn't make an ant just for the level. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day. They call themselves Slug Disco, but if we're <laughs> being honest, a slug would beat them to the disco before they could push out the next update. <laughs> How far away is the disco? This game has so much potential, but the developers get nothing out of it. It's so sad. Worst creative director in history. <gasps> do, do we get nothing out, out of it. Do we not? Who's the creative director? It's all Who's three of you. That's the problem. Nah, I think Liam is. I, I, I was... I, <laughs> yes, Liam. <laughs> it's definitely Liam. I was upgrade, upgraded to creative director from lead visionary at, at one point, I think. <laughs> Liam was lead visionary back when his only role was really commenting on what me and John were doing. That was, that's why he's lead visionary. Because all he had to offer was a vision at the best of times. <laughs> There's a mobile game that does it better, even with the microtransactions. Ooh, that one stings. Um. <laughs> Which one is that? They didn't say. Ants the Underground Kingdom, or Underground Kingdom the Ants. If you're looking for a game that perfectly captures the mind-numbing tedium of how ant colonies work, look no further. <laughs> this game will have you digging through dirt particles and managing leafcutter ants bowel movements for hours on end. Truly thrilling stuff. <laughs> I would say the leaf cutter ants' bowel movements aren't simulated very well at all. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. More realistic bowel movements on the way. Oh, yes. <laughs> this level sucks. I'd give it zero out of ten if I could. You can if you like. We don't have an official rating system. <laughs> if, you want, if, you, if you want to give it zero out of ten, you can. He's annoyed that he's had to give it one out of ten. <laughs> I didn't ask. I wasn't asking people to rate it. <laughs> wow, you devs really need help, don't you? I see after years of working that all you have managed to do is make levels with cheating enemies. This is the lowest form of programming AI. I would say you could do better, but we have seen what you make over the years and it is not impressive. Maybe hire some kids to help you? Ooh. I don't know. You had promise, but then you all, I guess, went to work at Starbucks and Target. <laughs> Never been to a Target. This game is like trying to organise a team of kindergartners. It's cute in theory, but in practice it's a complete mess. You'll spend more time trying to get your ants to do what you want than actually making progress in the game. I'm presuming this is someone who wants to direct control over there. Over there. Yeah, that's people, all it is. Yeah. A lot of people come from more traditional RTSs where you, you drag boxes and right click. It's not even worth the trouble of installing. I have never been so fundamentally frustrated and disappointed by a game before. Minus 10 oh, out of 10. That's worse than zero out of 10. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh gosh. Much worse. I didn't even realize it was possible. This, this is one of the meaner ones. This is one of the meaner ones. I like it. Because it's clearly it's someone nice. who just doesn't, not worth this person just doesn't story. like the game. Yeah. And they played for five hours, so that's... they give it a good go. Yeah. Anti-customer practices. Now, this is why I included this one. Such as exclusive content for people who invested in their company before the game released as well. Game is functionally dead right now. Sad. Ooh. A Kickstarter reward is essentially what they've picked up on. They picked up on a Kickstarter and, reward. Yeah. And apparently it's that's an anti-customer practice. They haven't said anything bad about the game. <laughs> except for it, it's functionally dead, which we don't really know what that means. Maybe it's dead to them. Like it, like like a child or a, or a parent, yeah, who, who you no longer speak to. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. 
Who on earth asked for this game? I was gifted it, so definitely not me. Four hours in, and I'm pretty sure the person who gave it to me hates me. Oh. Wonderful. I like that one. Someone getting angry that someone bought them the game. I don't like free play. It actually, in my view, reduces the game to a bad experience over the campaign. I would rather sooner repeat the campaign than suffer the crap behind free play mode. <laughs> The worst yet was when I played Leaf Ant versus Leaf Ant in free play. Complete boring joke. <laughs> I haven't tried that myself. <laughs> free play is getting a rebalance, I mean. Uh, We're working on it at the minute, but maybe we should just abandon it based on that. <laughs> uh, yet another game where the devs claim to be working hard, but just keep spending their time making new maps and Christmas hats <laughs> to satiate us instead of just buffing. <laughs> Buckling down and Clearly finishing making the game. these Christmas hats give people fuel. Like angry yeah. people, like like on the run up to Christmas, all developing the Christmas hats. Downing your fifth eggnog of the morning. Just, <laughs> yeah. Have we done the Christmas hats yet? <laughs> yet again, another boring extra level. You spent ages on the fire ants, then gave us little black ants. I would also like to take this opportunity to say Merry Christmas to all <laughs> and have a good one. Thank you for for ending it that way, my friend. Thank you for ending it that way. N nice short one there, so you understand why. Uh, former carry in challenge three. Not <laughs> Someone's stuck. Is that is that colony versus colony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people do get stuck there. Uh, congrats to the developers for creating a game that perfectly emulates the feeling of collective dread ants must endlessly endure. <laughs> Just when you think you've built up a decent free play colony, a horde of enemies comes along and wipes it all out, leading you with nothing but some sad music. Robert. That's what we set out to do. <laughs> really crush your hopes and dreams. This is in response to a TikTok video that Dan made. You spend your time not developing new content, but on this... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the developers don't spend any time making that content, but I have grabbed them for an hour now to make this video, to be fair. Yes. That comment will uh, would work under this video. It's going to appear there, isn't it? I didn't think it was possible to hate ants any more than I already did, but this game proved me wrong. <laughs> and that could be that could be positive. I don't like it. I decided to play 80 hours to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you just got to make sure, haven't you? You do have to make sure. You do. Time and I, I've got no comment on that. That is fair enough. Yeah. They just played the hell out of the game. <laughs> and they don't like it. The equivalent of four days. Yeah. And they didn't like it. So fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't want to end on a sour note, so the, the final positive review, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There we are. Th thank you thank you for joining me. I hope we've all uh, learned something today, and we've got something to take uh, into, our, into our professional lives in the undergrowth uh, in the future as we go forward. 